Okay. You guys saw what happened, so ask. Fire away. How about your offense today? I think a load of the box. Um, we've been uh, waiting for this to happen, you know, by by virtue of our running game, uh, and they, uh, you know, we we've had to have we needed to have the ability to throw the ball. We couldn't just rely on the running game when they loaded up, either load it with seven defenders or bring blitzes the way they were and leave their secondary on the island with our receivers. Uh, that's what we have to do. So that's, and, and, and the guys uh, uh, from top to bottom, quarterback, um, the receivers, everybody, it was, uh, it was quite, a, quite a show. How, how early in the game did you sort of recognize that's, where, that's what you guys might do? Uh, if we, every game we go in, looking at that and uh, I don't know Tanner when were they starting to load the box early yeah it was early <laughs> you ask ask that guy he's out there he's out there calling plays she's <coughs> great checks anyways uh, two of the top defenses in the big sky and actually on the press conference on Monday you said that it might be a seven to seven game does this score surprise you yeah it does um, I was hoping for a two nothing game we get a safety and, <laughs> and, and shut them out but uh uh, you know, it's a tribute to uh, our kids and uh, how hard they're playing. And so, uh, I'm I'm like the only one out of all the staff. All the staff, hey, we're gonna score one. I'm like, God, we're gonna be lucky to get a yard. And so, uh, I'm Mr. Mr. Positive. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, uh, it surprises me. Yeah, right. but but uh, we're in un uncharted waters with this bunch. And uh, you know, we every every experience we have from here on out is a new experience. Yeah, and that's what you've you've kind of been saying is that this is you know they haven't been here in the past, and you you had a lot of great years at Montana. I guess how much of those experiences have you been kind of able to pass down to them? Uh, well, just a matter of uh, the weekly, you know, everybody uh, it, every week now we're not uh, the Little Idaho State. We're we're a known commodity within the conference, and we're going to get everybody's best shot now, mm -hmm. like we did at the my school that I was at in this conference before. Um, and uh, it's uh, it, 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 we got to we got to convey that to them that uh, we're gonna we're we're playing arguably I, who I think is one of the best teams in the Big Sky next week. It's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be an awesome game. An FBS stacked roster and the first time Idaho State's beat Idaho in 23 years. Does this excite? Does this? I mean, you never show me any excitement, fantasy. Yeah. Does this not? Is this not what no, you guys have been a, working for no, all we, summer? We missed a bunch of tackles at the end and had a fumble, and <laughs> so. Uh, but yeah. this is what you've been working for through spring ball. Yeah. We talked about yeah. this, and I mean through, through mat drills and and uh, you know David Fiafia when we talked to the team before the Bengal walk made a point. You know when we started preparing for this season, and and uh, it happened on March 30th, 2017. And, uh, and, it, and, it, and it kicked into high gear uh, November 19th, 2017. And, uh, and these kids have uh, shown uh, fortitude with uh, recruiting, lifting in the off season, 6 a.m. mat drills when it's butt cold out there. Mm -hmm. uh, our screwed up spring ball schedule because our, our academic uh, deal was all messed up. And our, we had to practice it, you know, remember how Late you know, so, at night. Yeah, early so you go early. through that, uh, go through summer with no stipends. Now that team we just played is fully funded, fully stipend, everything. Okay, we our guys had to had to hold down jobs, and while while also working out. So it goes through all those, it goes through camp, and uh, and like I said, this bunch this bunch has earned everything. They're not given anything. Absolutely. And then that's what makes them special at this at this point. Now we got hey, mm -hmm. as I always say, what well, we got six to go. We, we you know, we, we could very easily end up four and seven. Mm -hmm. So beating Idaho at this, you know, the state of Idaho, you know, sort of Boy State football has been Idaho and Idaho State's been a distant third. What do you think the performance like this does for Idaho State football? Uh just uh, I don't know if it gives us street street cred or not. I don't know. <laughs> it's, just, it's another it's another win. It's fun. Uh, I know next year when we go to their place they're gonna be ready to go. So uh, uh, it's uh, it, it, it's certainly fun. It's fun going one and zero on Saturday. You know, no matter who you who you be. Coach, you mentioned that you do have six games left, but they're four and one up until this point. How do you feel about the overall performance of the team? Guys are guys are doing the things that we ask. Um, they're listening to us. They're taking our coaching. They're not wavering. They're not questioning. 
Um, they're uh, uh, they're playing hard. You know, they're, they're, it's a team out there. It's it's not an offense and a defense and special teams. I mean, it is fun on the sidelines. Listen, to everybody cheer each other on. You mentioned you had to take advantage of the looks they were giving you with their defense. What kind of gives you confidence knowing that your guys can do that? Uh, that's that that helps a lot. Just uh, now. That's the way this offense should work. It should, you know, whatever, whatever they give, whatever they give us, is what we should take advantage of. And we really haven't done a great job of that yet. You know, North Dakota in the second half, it was basically the same type of thing, and we weren't, we weren't hooking up until we finally get Mitch on the one into, into what we call no deep cover zero or whatever. Um, we were able to get a couple more when we needed to. Is this the best game you see Tanner play? I'm not going to say that with him sitting back there. No, no, no. Uh, I'll watch it on film. Uh, he did some things, made some checks out there that I was like, "Holy smokes!" But when you got a fifth-year, when you got a fifth-year senior at quarterback that's that started three, you know, in some games his, his freshman year, uh, at you know, controlling the controlling the whole deal, he he's seen a lot of things, and and, and the game kind of slows down for him. So, uh, guys playing well. This is a statement. Uh, your quarterback led in rushing. Today. Yeah, we're like Oklahoma in the seventies. <laughs> this isn't that you. You never planned for Tanner to be rushing, right? No, um, and did a great job pulling it down early a couple times when things were covered. But if, if you're getting a lot of man free, right. the one guy that they now they, they had a spy out. Fifty was spying on him for a little bit there. I saw, but when they're in a man free, they don't they don't count for the quarterback. So he pulls it down and, and there's no one there. So and, he, and he's very timely with it. Really smart. Just, he, he needs to get down and get out of bounds and not try to take guys on. Has your offense kind of, I mean, you know, it, it wasn't going like this up until now, sort of as you said. I mean, has it kind of been a slow build and you guys just kind of executed the way you wanted to today? Or? Yeah, just, yeah, we, uh, Mike Ferry is doing an awesome job, you know, and, and I'll take, as I say, every week, Roman Sapolu has really made the difference with this offense and, and the way he coached the offensive line and his relationship with the kids and, and uh, how they respond to him. And so, uh, uh, not to take any away from from Mike or David or, or Aaron Pryor, but uh, uh, you know it's a it's a collective operation there. But Mike's doing a wonderful job. He was in a good flow at halftime. That's what I told him. Man, you're calling a great game. Just just keep it going. And, and uh, uh, like I said, he he's he's uh, really developing. I think as a, as an offensive coordinator, very 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 calm. Never gets uh, he, he's very even keeled. 15 years since you've seen a crowd like that. What was it like playing in front of a you know, really sold out stadium? I don't, yeah, I don't hear because I got headphones on. So uh, it was awesome. Though. I appreciate the fans coming out. Appreciate the student section. Uh, the marketing gals did a great job getting that the striped stadium. And uh, they, uh, like I said, I just appreciate the city of Pocatello and, and state of Idaho people coming up supporting us. It's awesome. Uh, we always say a win's a win, but what's your takeaway from this game? A win's a win. <laughs> That's what you tell me every yeah, time yeah, I ask time. you how you it's, feel. It's, uh, you know, it gives us a level of confidence, I'm sure, but, you know, we have to come out next week and do it again, you know, and, and we'll, we'll take, you know, 24 hours, and it's like after a loss, you take 24 hours to get over it, and then you're onto it. We'll take 24 hours and, and smile, and then, uh, and then I'll be the grouchy, grouchy dude at Monday morning at 6 a.m. when we watch film. Yeah, they're all laughing back there because they know. <laughs> no smiling Monday through Friday. No. That was a fantasy Never. Quote. That was a fantasy call. Never. <laughs> Anything else for Coach? I'm good. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, Thank uh, you. Uh,